Hi, Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. Hit subscribe and hit like for me. Today's video is going to be about being insecure. How to work on not being an insecure person. This one is a good topic because, believe it or not, there are a lot of insecure people. We think um, we see these celebrities and the fame and fortune, the beautiful looks and the makeup they have on, the houses, the cars, the blah, the blah, blah, blah. But you would be so shocked at how insecure a lot of people really are. And just pay attention, look around. It's going to be a little more obvious after this video. My niece, um, she had something happen. Her friend had something happen in, a few years ago. A celebrity here was being interviewed and his wife, you know, she's famous as well. And so my niece's friend, she works in the media and she was so excited to meet this actress. And the lady basically gave her the cold shoulder. Of course, my niece's friend is very pretty, but you would think, wow, this actress has it all. Why is she insecure because of a younger lady? But people are. It doesn't matter what they own or how far they've gone in life. It's their own stuff inside of them. Insecurity is an eternal lack. <laughs> they are lacking confidence and belief in themselves. And when you are insecure, you feel that someone is going to take something away from you. You don't feel adequate enough to be confident. You feel that someone can come in and make you feel and i'm just gonna stop and make you feel and you put in whatever thought that you could have because at the end of the day no one has the power to make you feel anything you have to give your power away and i get it we all can be insecure when you're you are in the middle of a breakup a divorce or a job loss it can attack your um confidence and you start feeling inadequate but you don't have to stay there so i'll give you some tips to help out with your confidence and I don't want you to be one of those insecure people so tip number one it's all about you and feeling good about you looking good looking in that mirror and smiling back having your hair done having your makeup right you can be makeup less um, just making sure you feel good and look good about yourself and when I say that, I don't mean you have to be all dressed up. I think I see women look so great in a beautiful jogging suit and some nice, um, you know, crisp gym shoes. Or you can look good in a pair of jeans and a, a pair of pumps and a cute blazer or whatever your style is. It, it doesn't even have to be any of those styles. Just rock and own whatever look you like to sport. You know, guys think that us women... We do things for a compliment. I do things for me. And if a compliment comes along the way, I always say thank you. I'm always honored when someone likes my look, you know. But do it for you. Look in that mirror and feel good about yourself. And that's part of being a secure person. Tip number two, when you're in a relationship, you don't want to have a battle of the sexes. I'll never forget being married and I was making, um, you know, a smaller salary. As the years progressed, I got a really good job and my salary went up quite a bit. And I remember my ex-husband saying, well, good for you. He was jealous. He said, good for you. And now you can leave me or move on. You make more money. I'm like, it hurt my feelings so bad because I was thinking, here's our income going up for us. And he was thinking, wow, she's going to leave me now that her income has improved. And I did. He was right. <laughs> but I wasn't thinking that at first. I was thinking in the future, like, wow, this is going to help our household. So you don't want to pin yourself against your partner, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. You want to be a team. And you don't want to be insecure if someone is coming up to them, make you know, saying they look good or you feel like you're a boyfriend, a girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever, is looking at other people. You want to be secure to know, hey, I'm going home with this person and they are into me. Of course, other people are going to find you attractive, your mate attractive. Don't we all want somebody that somebody else wants? I sure, I sure do. So we have to be secure enough to know that that's your husband, that's your wife. And somebody looks at them, that's cool, but they're going home with me. So it's all about rocking and owning your confidence and standing in your own space. That's what it's really about. Tip number three, you could be insecure in a business deal or in your professional career. 
I remember being in school, we had to do team settings and we had to do speeches or presentations as a group. It'd be, it would be like four or five of us. I'm a little bit older than my classmates. They were 26 to 28. I'm in my 40s, upper 40s, that is. So my confidence was kind of high. I'm not bragging, but it's just that I have more experience and I'm a facilitator. So getting in front of people didn't intimidate me within reason. And I noticed a few times we would be doing speeches or presentations and they would try to cut me off or outshine but we're all a group we together you don't need to do that and and what's hilarious is i always had great admiration for my classmates because they were 20 years younger than me they got it at 27 28 26 getting a master's and i was older so i had admiration that they figured it out that young in life and to be honest a lot of people didn't even know my age so no need to be insecure because you think someone else is more confident you just rock and own your own stuff. And another way you can be insecure and you want to work on this is if you're in a business deal, like maybe you own your own salon and your partner is the business manager. If that's their area of expertise, you let them rock that and let them own it and you do the hairstyling and the beauty. So don't be insecure because someone may be more knowledgeable in a certain area. That's how success flourishes and happen when you're confident enough in your own stand or your own walk and you let them rock and do their part. So insecurity, it doesn't have to be in a relationship only. It could be with friends. It could be with a professional career. It could be with a business partner and it can ruin, it can absolutely tank any of those relationships. It's the worst, one of the worst and nastiest emotions that, you know, can be displayed. That's for sure. So I'm hoping some of my tips help you. I want you to be confident in your ability to uh, be a successful person. Be, a, and be confident in your educational ability. Be confident in your career, in your relationships, in your health, in yourself. Because when you are confident you don't even have to open your mouth. It shows with your walk and your talk. A lot of times the women and men, we don't give credit where credit is due. If you're out in the dating world, people can tell when you lack confidence. It, it comes across in your language and in the way you um, hold the body language shows off. Sometimes you don't even have to open your mouth. Body language speaks before you open your mouth. So I want you to be positive, confident, and banish that insecurity. You are too beautiful and too great for that. Tammy C. Walker, hit like, hit subscribe, and take care of yourself. Hold your head up high now. Bye.